Hello, folks. If you're really interested in finding out some very specific, precise information about ADHD medications, you've come to the right place. I just finished a book called ADHD Medication Rules, Paying Attention to the Meds for Paying Attention. It's my assertion in that book, having been on the road speaking for more than 14 years now to my medical colleagues all over the United States, that many are writing for medications while not paying attention to the meds for paying attention. And in fact, meds are being given rather capriciously at times and without any specific targets and without any specific titration dosage criteria. And as a result of that, I thought it was really important to write a book about it. So what I did is I wrote a book for the public. I wrote a book to help you have a better working relationship with your doc if you are taking attention deficit disorder medications. You know, the consequences of not paying attention to paying attention are really oftentimes catastrophic. And really, it takes just a little bit of effort, just a little bit of effort to look at the details, take the time. I do this all day, every day, I can assure you. We go over the details, my medical team and myself, we're really interested in, in paying attention to them. And I've communicated them with you very specifically in the book, ADHD Medication Rules. So in that book, I cover a number of different subjects, and I'm going to have a series of videos talking about what I'm covering. This is a little brief intro. Basically, we're going to talk about issues that have to do not only with target identification, which we put on some of these other videos, but then how to actually understand how the target can change when you're actually giving the medications. Because if you don't understand the metabolic aspects of what's going on with an individual, if you don't understand that the liver and indeed the entire metabolism of the medication can be compromised by things as simple as how many times a day you go number two, then you're going to miss, we are, all of us are, we're going to miss the target if we don't look at those variables. So I think we should really look at the variables and get more precise about what we're doing. In this book, I cover to topics like the bulletproof liver. My favorite question, which I just mentioned a moment ago, how many times a day do you go number two? And related to that is transit time. If you don't know bowel activity and transit time in complicated cases, you might as well hang up your hat. It's not going to work. I can predict the future on that one. And then we have several complex examples right on the front end. One of the things that I cover about right in the front of the book is individuals who are given immediate release medications based on managed care criteria of thinking this is what they should do because it's, guess what, cheap. In using immediate release medication, for a child and hoping that it's going to last all day because that child doesn't want to go to the nurse at lunchtime and using a medication that really is only designed to last for five or six hours and cross our fingers and hope that it works eight to 12 hours. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So that's a quick example. We talk about executives who don't have their medication titrated correctly. And we talk about a number of things, including breakfast, sleep, and really how to work with your doctor. Our last chapter is the only book that I know that says let's get down and work more effectively with the medical profession and, and establish better lines of communication so we really know what we're talking about. I hope you can join me. I hope you do have an opportunity to get and purchase the, the book. I'm only charging $37, which is about an average price for a med check, so it's not an expensive item when you look at the years of misunderstanding that some people have had with their medications. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep you posted on more of the specifics of the book through the videos, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.